Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. Um, I do want to apologize. I know we've been a little bit behind uh, with all these spell works. We just have been extremely busy doing tons of spells for clients um, and extremely busy with consultations. Uh, so I just haven't had the time to actually record. So I apologize for that. There's tons of videos coming up that I'm going to be uploading and working on for you guys. Um, also, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, I want to just remind you guys that we have a lot, unfortunately, we have a lot of, you know, fucking imposters out there um, claiming to be me. So if you come across any, uh, any pages on social media, um, any YouTube videos on here that are not on my channel, but it's my spell videos, please report them so that they can be um, removed. This is getting out of hand. I already took care um, spell work wise um, for those that are doing that. It's just getting annoying at this point. So anyways, let's get into this spell. So this spell is particularly for those of you guys that have recently had some type of separation, some type of pulling away, whether this was your partner breaking up with you, whether this was them completely ghosting you, whatever the situation may be, this is literally to make them cry, to make them humiliate themselves, um, asking for forgiveness. Now, this is, I'm doing this for a client. Um, please, you guys, be wise, be smart when doing this work. Um, don't go jumping into this if you just met someone and you just started dealing with them, let's say a month, two months. This is for those of you guys that thought or were in a relationship or you were under the impression that it was becoming a relationship and they did you dirty. Whatever the situation may be, this spell is for you. Like I said, be mindful don't go doing this type of work just to anyone just because they're not contacting you. They're not reaching out to you and you just met them a week ago. You know what I'm saying? Use common sense. Anyways, this is a very strong, uh, powerful spell to do. It is extremely easy to do. What you need, let's get into the ingredients. So obviously we're going to need a white onion. We're going to need a white piece of paper. We're going to need some scissors, black marker, and we're going to need six, uh, sorry, seven candles. And they must be black candles. They cannot be any other color. If you don't have black, the only one you can substitute for is a white candles. Preferably, you guys uh, try to get the black candles. It just empowers the work that much more. This is a seven-day ritual. Um, so every single day when we do the casting moving forward, every single day, you're going to be lighting a candle. Okay. Until you get to the seventh day, which is going to be the seventh candle and its completion. Once that is done, you can leave this in your altar or your workplace, um, where you do your workings, leave it undisturbed. You should see progress and movement within those seven days. Um, However, if you don't see results after the seven days, don't go out and tossing it. Wait until the completion of 12 days. After 12 days, if there hasn't been any movement, any progress, um, then you would, you know, make sure to get rid of this, tossing it out away from your home. Okay. All right. So like I said, you're going to need a white onion. You're going to need seven candles. You're going to need scissors, black marker, the white piece of paper, a plate or tray where you can put your workings and you're going to need three different types of chili. Now you can use um, the seed ones. You can use any type of chili, but you would preferably use three different. So I'm going to be using paprika, cayenne pepper, and chili powder. Um, like I said, three different chili powders. Doesn't matter what kind of chilies. Okay. Um, if you want to amplify it, you can use some type of controlling oil we're going to be using controlling um controlling oil but you can use any type of it could be controlling oil it can be if you're a woman doing this for a man you can use cleopatra oil 
if you are a man doing this or a woman, you can use John the Conqueror uh, oil. And that's pretty much all you need, you guys. It's very simple, but very effective. So let's get into, let's get into the spell work. So as you guys can see here, we cut the inside of the onion. You see that? We're going to need enough room to be able to place the paper. So once you do that, once you've removed it, the center, make sure to cut the center as you guys can see here. You're going to get the white piece of paper and you're going to write with the black marker or pen. You're going to write down your partner's information. So you would write the first name, last name and date of birth. You're going to write it down seven times. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. You're going to write down their first name, last name, date of birth seven times. Once that's done, what you're going to do is you're going to get the part of the onion and you're going to rub the onion on the paper and you're going to say or chant. Like the strength of this onion, so will your tears and your eyes cry for me. You will cry for me day and night. You will have no rest until you are at my feet, humiliated, completely and utterly removed from your ego, seeing the wrongs that you have done to me and regretting it. You're going to rub this all over the piece of paper. Then you would add some of the oil here, uh, whatever oil you're using, like I said, you're going to Initially, what I would do is here, I'll show you guys. So what you want to do is you want to tap each corner of the piece of paper. Make sure to get it in there. All right, so once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to fold it. You're going to bring it towards you. Turn it to the right, turn it towards you. Turn it to the right, turn it towards you. It's going to look something like this. Okay, so let me get rid of that. Let me put my client's information in here. Okay, and it's going to look like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get we're going to get some of the chilies and we're going to go around the onion. Okay. Really put your intention when doing this, you guys put all your intention, your focus, your energy, whatever this person has done to you, whatever they have, you know, they, they try to humiliate you. They try to, deceive you, they try to lie to you, whatever feelings come up, definitely acknowledge those feelings and put them on the work that you're doing. It's going to give you very, very quick and fast results. Okay, so you can be thinking this fucker is going to come towards me, is going to beg me, it's going to be completely stripped from ego humiliated, asking me to forgive him, asking me to forgive her, whatever it is that they did to you, you can say that. Let me remove this. I know I should have worn gloves. All right. All right, give me one second, you guys. I guess my clients will get this work if I do. And like I said, put all that anger towards this work. You will know what regret is. You will cry. You will think of me day and night. You will have no rest. You will be constantly thinking about me day and night, crying, 
day and night thinking of me having remorse, having regret for what you have done, what you have put me through. You will come in complete despair, begging me for forgiveness. Okay? Once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to close it up. like this, you're going to get the scissors and you're going to stab it right at the center, okay? Make sure that when you stab it, you are putting all the anger, all the whatever they have put you through. We got a lot of people out here thinking that they can do whatever the fuck they want to do, thinking that they could deceive you, thinking that they could lie, that they can cheat, that they can, no, 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 we cannot. And those that do and have a tendency of doing have run their course, meaning this is nothing to feel regret about because for all you know, this is their karma, okay? So when you stab the onion, you're going to be completely pissed when doing this. Sorry <laughs> if you guys heard the loud, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to place each candle alright so it's going to look something like this what we're going to do is every single day you're going to light a candle so because tonight's the first night of the ritual, I will light right at the right at the top right here. We're going in a clockwise position. So I'm going to light that. When you light it, again, like I said, you will put that intention. They will hurt. They will suffer. They will experience everything that they have made me feel. Whatever it is that they made you feel, they make me feel helpless. They make me feel like a like an ignorant person. They make me feel so little, belittled. They make me feel whatever it is. You will feel this. You will experience this. You will deal with your own undoing. And this will not be removed until you come to me at my feet begging me for forgiveness begging me to forgive you begging for my love you will know what you have done and you will be remorseful period All right, my lovelies, like I said, it is very simple, very effective, you guys. When doing this work, do not feel, do not feel in any shape, way, or form sorry for them. If you do, this spell is not for you. I'm telling you right now. They will experience and feel what they made you feel. They will regret it. They will come crawling to you, asking you for forgiveness asking you to take them back and I genuinely and truly hope that you show them the door because you deserve better than that. However, the choice is yours. I am only here to give you guys the tools, the knowledge, the power. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this spell. Like, share, comment, come back. Let us know what your results were, what your experience was. Once you light the candle, you're going to leave this in your altar or where you do your workings. You're going to be around the spell work until the candle is completely extinguished. Once it has extinguished, then you're set for the day. Tomorrow, the following day, you're going to light the second candle. Always be around your work when you are lighting the candles. Very important. Leave this undisturbed 
in your altar or in your working space. If there is no movement after the seven days, wait until the 12th day. Once the 12th day is here and there hasn't been any progress, then you need to redo this work. Once it's done and the 12 days are over and you haven't seen results, make sure to toss this out away from your home before recasting. But I guarantee you guys that if you put intention and effort and anger into this, you will see very quick results. All right, my lovelies? I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see each other soon. Bye.